Welcome to the On Demand 2021 Rock Family of Companies Community Challenge Training Webinar. My name is Dawn and I'll be leading you through today's presentation. Uh, if you have any questions after viewing this webinar, please email rockchallenge at mightycause.com. Here's a look at today's agenda. Um, we'll be going over some of the basics. We're going to go over some of the key dates and facts of the program. Then we'll walk through getting started by navigating and customizing your team page on the platform. After that, we'll go over the prizes available for this year's challenge. Uh, if you have a question after reviewing the webinar, you can visit the FAQ on the challenge site or email rockchallenge at mightycause.com and our friendly support team will be happy to help. Community Challenge Basics. So the 2021 Rock Family of Companies Community Challenge is a four week long event that runs from August 2nd at noon Eastern to August 27th at 4.59.59 p.m. Eastern. While your organization will only be participating with nonprofits in your location, the challenge is benefiting five separate markets, Detroit, Cleveland, Charlotte, Phoenix, and a national market. And the really awesome thing about this giving event is that there's $275,000 of prize money at stake and lots of opportunities to win. Uh, we'll get into the prizes available a little bit later on. Getting started. So how does a fundraising challenge work? Uh, a fundraising challenge is a unique campaign presented by a host that allows organizations to compete with other nonprofits or against their own goal to win prize money. Fundraising challenges are an exciting way for you to engage sponsors, community partners, peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, and more to spread the word about your organization and mission and raise funds for your cause. The limited time frame creates a sense of urgency that donors tend to respond to, and the prizes available give you fresh messaging opportunities throughout the campaign. So what does my nonprofit need to do? So all of you reviewing the webinar today would have received a challenge welcome email after accepting the invitation to participate in this year's community challenge. If you don't remember receiving that welcome email, I would check your spam or junk folders or email us rockchallenge at mightycause.com to let us know that you did not receive it and we can resend that welcome email to you. In that welcome email, you can find the link to your official team page for this year's challenge. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is customize that team page by adding a logo and information about your organization. You'll then want to make sure you're fully eligible to receive prizes by uploading your W-9 and most recent 990 and review this year's official rules. And once you've done that, you can start planning for your campaign by strategizing around this year's bonus challenges. You can also attend the live training webinar on July 14th. That's all about strategy. So if you're not sure where to start or you want some good tips on using the new tools you get with your Mighty Cause account, be sure to attend. You can find the sign up link on the welcome page referenced in that welcome email you received. So once the challenge has started, your organization will need to promote your challenge team page so people know that it exists. You'll want to invite people involved with your organization to participate as peer to peer fundraisers. And of course, you'll need to raise money to win some awesome prizes. So this is the home page for the community challenge this year. You'll see the URL here at the top. I would definitely bookmark it. Uh, you can access each market's page and grand prize leaderboards from this overall challenge site. Once the challenge starts, this is where you can find the leaderboards that will show your bonus challenge standings. So make sure to bookmark it now so you have it when you need it. This page has all the tools that you'll need too. You'll see the resources tab where you can find a comprehensive FAQ, as well as the bonuses for each location, the official challenge rules, and general information about this year's community challenge. So moving on to your organization's team page for the community challenge this year, we recommend taking some time to get to know your team page dashboard. Your dashboard is the admin bar that appears on the left side of the screen when you're logged in and on your nonprofit's team page. You'll automatically land in edit mode when you access your team page. You can always see the public facing view at any time while you're editing by clicking the live page eyeball icon. Under live page is the page editor icon. This allows you to open the page back up for editing, 
if you're not quite satisfied or have additional changes that you wanna make. The campaigns icon gives you a quick overview of all the fundraisers that have joined your team page, while participants gives you visibility into each team member's progress and gives you the ability to communicate with them. You can also invite new supporters to join your team through the participants section of your team page. So below that on your dashboard is the report section. You're able to preview and export your team's donation report and utilize the Mighty Cause Matching Grant tool, which we'll talk about in a bit. The last option on your dashboard is the settings. Within settings, you can update your social share template, add a fundraiser template to make joining your team super easy for your supporters, and you can view and manage your challenge checkout flow by adding suggested donation amounts, and customizing the thank you page that donors see after they complete a transaction. Your team page is the face of your nonprofit for the 2021 Community Challenge. So you'll wanna make sure that it looks good and represents you well. One very important note, your team page link is the link that you'll share with your supporters to ask them to donate to your challenge page. Uh, you have a organization profile page, which is kind of like the home page on the site for you, but the page that counts towards the challenge is that official team page that you received a link to in that welcome email. So again, if you did not receive that welcome email, or if you're not sure which link to be sharing, please email our support uh, team at rockchallenge at mightycause.com. So to share your team page, just copy and paste the URL into an email or social post or wherever you're advertising the campaign. So as you're getting started, you'll wanna customize your team page to match your brand. So there's two ways to start customizing. You can click the page editor in your dashboard. So this will open up everything that you're able to edit. And you know, if you're a list person, you can go down the list that opens after choosing page editor to make sure that you hit everything that you want to. The other way to customize, as you can see in this visual here on the slide, is to use the little pencil icons that appear on the page to indicate a section can be edited. Just click the little pencil icon and that section will open up for editing. The story section of your page is your chance to explain what your nonprofit is all about. The text editor is right in the section. So all you have to do is just click the little blue pencil icon to open up the editing tools and start writing. You can add media to your story to jazz things up you can utilize the inline text editor to add links, upload images, link to videos from YouTube and Vimeo. Uh, those videos will get embedded in your story so people visiting your challenge page can check them out right within that section. Uh, you can also add bulleted or numbered lists. This spot is really where you can go in depth about your work and make a strong appeal to donors. You know, Tell them why your organization needs their support and show the impact of your work. You can access your challenge team donation report in the report section of your dashboard. So clicking on that section will give you a sub menu where you can choose from donation reports or matching grants. We'll get more into matching grants here in a second. For now, your donation report will be available to you in real time and include information like the donation date, donor name, email, any designations or dedication options you have, the amount of the donation, as well as which page the donation was attributed to. Uh, this comes more in handy when you have multiple team members on your challenge team helping you fundraise. Within the checkout flow section, which we'll go into detail about later on, you can set what information you collect during the checkout process to show in your donation report. For example, if you needed to collect phone numbers or addresses from donors, you can do so within the checkout flow section, so it shows on your donation report. All donations on the site are processed by the Mighty Cause Charitable Foundation, which is a donor advice fund. Uh, within your organization account, which I'll touch on a little bit uh, later, you can sign up for electronic fund transfer, uh, which is the recommended method since it allows fund disbursement twice monthly. Um, we can also send disbursements via check if you prefer, um, not to or can't sign up for direct deposit. So checks get sent out once a month and there is a $5 administrative fee associated with check disbursements. So it's highly recommended that you sign up for EFT since it's free and you get your money faster. Again, I'll point you to where you can do that within your organization account in just a few slides. 
The report section on your, on your team page dashboard is also where you'll find the matching grants tool. As I'm sure many of you know, having a matching grant from a sponsor can go a long way in driving donations. So I wanna make sure you're aware of the tool that Mighty Cost has specifically for those. The matching grants tool is a really versatile tool and you have a lot of options for how you structure your match. While a lot of matches are one-to-one -one matching, you know, where if someone gives that amount, the exact amount is matched, you can do two to one, three to one, you can match a percentage of each donation. Our matching grant tool does the math for you. So all you have to do is choose how you wanna structure your match. You can also apply a match when a certain number of donations have been received. So for instance, if there was a bonus challenge available for most individual donations, you could say that if you get 100 donations within the hour, you'll get an additional $1,000 for your nonprofit. You know, or however your matching grant is set up to actually help you drive donation volume and traffic. So the matching grant tool allows you to post multiple grants at the same time and also in sequence. So you can set a bunch of grants to buyer one after the other. So while that might sound like a lot, the tool itself is pretty user friendly and you have a lot of flexibility in how you structure your match. So I would highly suggest checking out the matching grants tool just to see your possibilities and start brainstorming. Of course, if you get overwhelmed by the possibilities, just setting it up as a one-to-one -one match is the simplest and easiest thing to do. Uh, we do have uh, more information about matching grants, like a uh, short FAQ, um, some matching grant best practices in the toolkit uh, uh, for the challenge. So if you have any questions, that's a great first place to start. The last item on your team page dashboard is settings. So this is where you can go to customize the social share template for your challenge page, add a fundraiser template and customize your team page checkout flow. So once you customize your social share template, anyone utilizing the share buttons on your team page will automatically get the template you provide when they share, just making it easier for them to quickly post. You can also add and customize a fundraiser template within the settings section. Adding a fundraiser template is probably one of the more important things you can do when customizing your challenge page, especially if you're planning on asking supporters to help you fundraise. The fundraiser template you create will get everyone going faster since it pre-fills their fundraiser image, text, goal, and more depending on what you've added for them. This means that when they click that join team button on your challenge page, their fundraiser will already be pretty much ready to go. They'll be able to customize what you've pre-filled for them if they wanted to, but if they don't, they're already good to start sharing their page with their friends and family. So also within your settings section is the beneficiary settings, which is where you can go to customize the checkout flow for your challenge team. This is probably one of the more important features to focus on when you're setting up your organization's team page. The checkout flow section gives you a lot of control over the donation process for your organization during the challenge. It allows you to opt into collecting the information you want from donors like addresses and phone numbers. You can also set up custom suggested donation amounts and add descriptions to help tie those amounts to items or services your nonprofit provides and strengthen your appeal to donate. The checkout flow also allows you to preview the whole checkout process without actually making a test donation. So you can see what your final process looks like and use that to edit yourself if needed. The checkout flow is also where you'll go to set up your thank you page, which uses the same text editor as your story on your team page. So you can add text, links, a video or image, and you can also add a custom call to action button that tells donors where you'd like them to go next. A cool idea would be, for instance, asking them to sign up for your email list. So there's a lot you can do in the checkout flow tool to optimize your campaign and customize the checkout process for donors. Um, you'll definitely want to spend some time customizing the team page using everything that we just talked about uh, because the more work you put into it, chances are the better you'll do during the community challenge. You know, you can have the best campaign strategy in the world, but when your team, you know, the place where people go to actually make donations looks like you haven't done anything to it, um, the donors might get confused and, and leave during their donation process. So each 501c3 organization on the site has an organization profile, um, which is sort of like your hub. Uh, that profile contains information that we've imported directly from the IRS. Um, if you are with a chapter of a national organization, 
then your challenge team page will have been set up underneath the main EIN profile with funds going directly to the national organization's address. That probably was you know, a lot to take in. Um, if you have any questions about that or you know your chapter or regional office should be set up differently, please email rockchallenge at mightycause.com. For those of you that are the main 501c3 organization, um, your organization profile is where you can add additional admins to the account. You can update your legal address if needed. You can set up direct deposit. Uh, you can download a more comprehensive donation report and access your organization's disbursement report as well as other available reports. Um, again, your profile is sort of like your backend hub on the site. Um, you have this page on Mighty Cause. However, the page that you want to share with your supporters is that official team page that you received uh, in your welcome email. So again, if you have any questions about which page to share and have people donate to, uh, email rockchallenge at mightycause.com. Um, going back to disbursements, um, the disbursement section of your organization's profiles report center allows you to see your batch disbursement history. So you can click on a disbursement listing to open up more information about that disbursement, like which donations were included in that report, as well as a summary of the total amount, total associated fees, net amount included in the disbursement. Um, so as I mentioned previously, all donations on the site are processed by the Mighty Cost Foundation, a donor advised fund. Um, your organization can sign up for electronic fund transfer, um, which again is the recommended method since it allows fund disbursement twice monthly. Um, however, we can send disbursements by check if you prefer. Those get sent out once a month. And again, a $5 administration fee is associated with check disbursements. So it's highly recommended that you sign up for EFT since it's free and you get your money faster. To access your organization's profile and these additional tools, uh, click on the icon in the upper right of um, the screen when you're logged in and choose your organization's name from the drop down list that appears. Um, again, because it's so important, please note that while donors are able to donate through your organization's profile page, only donations made through your organization's official challenge team page count towards the challenge and its prizes. Your official link was included in that welcome email that you received, but again, any questions, please don't hesitate to ask us, rockchallenge at mightycause.com. So if you haven't done so yet, you're going to need to upload documentation to make sure you can receive any prize grants that your organization wins during the challenge. Um, you're gonna need to provide your organization's W-9 and most recent 990. You can find the link to upload the paperwork uh, either on the challenge homepage or in that welcome email that you received under step two. Uh, you can also find it at rockcommunitychallenge.com under the paperwork tab. Um, you need to upload paperwork for each year you participate in the challenge. So if you participated last year, you need to resubmit your paperwork for the 2021 challenge to make sure you're eligible to receive prizes that you may win. After you submit, you'll get an email confirming that we've received your documentation. If you have any questions at all, you can email rockchallenge at mightycost.com. So moving on from the prize documentation, um, but before we get to the prizes available this year, I want to make sure I mention the really great tools that you have access to on the challenge homepage. The nonprofit toolkit has tips and tricks. It's got FAQs. It's got walkthroughs. It also has templates that you can use for email and social media to help you get inspired and figure out how to promote your campaign. So the toolkit is also where you'll be able to find um, today's training recording, as well as logos and graphics that you can download to start tying your brand into the Community Challenge brand. So check it out and be sure to refer back to it as you're planning your campaign. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to talking about the awesome prizes the Rock Family of Companies Community Challenge has to offer. The Rock Family of Companies Community Challenge is offering five grand prize grants to the organizations that raise the most in each market. The grand prize leaderboards for each market are on the specific markets subpage. As soon as the challenge begins, participating organizations will start getting tracked by the dollars they have raised. So it's important to mention that only online donations made through your organization's official team page on the Mighty Cost platform count towards those leaderboard totals. So this is a really big reason why you wanna push your donors to give online. You can definitely record a check that's given to you 
it just will not be reflected in your leaderboard totals. And the reason for that is because we don't and cannot verify offline donations. Uh, the leaderboard will reflect your cumulative total from the time the challenge begins at noon Eastern on August 2nd. So it's a running total of everything you've raised online. So in here, you're engaging in some of the friendly competition for those top prizes. So as you can see, each of the markets, um, for the most part, have a different uh, prize breakdown. Um, for the Detroit market, first place gets 25,000, second gets 15,000, third gets 10, fourth gets 7,500, and fifth gets 5,000. Um, for Kleenex, or Kleenex, <laughs> Cleveland, Phoenix, and the national markets, um, first place gets 15,000, second gets 10, third gets five, um, fourth gets 2,500, and fifth gets 1,000. And then the Charlotte market, first place gets 7,000, second gets 4,000, third gets 2,500, fourth place gets 1,000, and fifth place gets $500. So there's a lot of additional uh, bonus prizes as well. Um, we have a specific bonus geared just for small organization that runs through the whole campaign. Um, there are a lot of matching funds available. Uh, there's a ton of opportunities to win. Um, all of these prizes, method of entries, and dates associated with them are on the challenge site at rockcommunitychallenge.org under the bonus challenges tab. So you can reference them at any time. Um, each market has different numbers of winners or prize amounts. So you'll want to be sure to reference your market's bonus challenge tab when checking them out. The bonus prizes will have live leaderboards so you can see where you stand at any time. Uh, the key to winning them is in getting your donors invested in helping you climb the leaderboard. So keep tabs on your position on the leaderboard and keep your donors and supporters updated on where you are. Continually emphasize how much is at stake. You know, how much could this extra prize money do for your charity? What would that help you achieve? Tie that back into your overall messaging about what you do and why you do it to really get people excited about helping you win that money. Another trick is to just concentrate on sustaining momentum, keeping the fundraising going and starting and finishing strong. As we wrap this up, I wanna make sure our support team's contact information is here for you to reference. They're a really great resource before and during the challenge for anything campaign related. If you need help setting up your EFT, if you need help figuring out how to strategize around the weekly bonuses, or if your donor just needs their receipt reset, you can reach out to them at any time. Really quickly, I also want to just plug the next webinar for the Community Challenge on Wednesday, July 14th at 3 p.m. Eastern. The second webinar will be live uh, and we'll have a live Q&A session at the end. Um, it's going to be all about strategy that you can use during the challenge to win some of the awesome prize money being offered. You can sign up and put it on your calendar now. Uh, just go to rockcommunitychallenge.com uh, forward slash welcome or visit the challenge toolkit and there's a link to register there for the next webinar. Thank you so much for taking the time today to review this introductory webinar for the 2021 Rock Community Challenge. If you have any questions at all, please visit the comprehensive FAQ on the challenge website or email rockchallenge at mightycause.com.